In the session, we'll be detailing you about mode of nutrition. Those are being performed by the fungus. Now, I've already told you that when you talk about fungus, they are basically heterotrophic organisms. They cannot prepare the food because they are achlorophyllous. They don't have the pigments like the plants or cyanobacteria was possessing. Now, when you talk about, there are basically three modes of heterotrophic nutrition present in fungus. First one would be saprophyte, next it could be parasite and the third one is symbiosis. Now, what happens in saprophytes? They take the soluble organic matter from the dead decaying substances. They have the ability to secrete the enzymes which will be, you know, giving the what you call nutrients from the dead decaying matter. So, they work as saprophytes. And most of the saprophytes, they also perform the function of decomposing because they are degrading, they are decomposing the dead decaying matter. When you talk about parasitic mode of nutrition, so most of the fungus, those are pathogens, those are disease causing, are parasitic basically. They work upon living organism and that becomes their host. Like I have told you already about Paxenia. So Paxenia infects wheat and grabs the what you call the food from the wheat. But in reciprocation, Paxenia gives the disease in the wheat. The next, which is uh, also very common in higher plants, the fungus, it's seen with the association with higher plants or with algae. So fungus also do the symbiotic relationships in form of lichens or mycorrhiza. Lichens is the association of fungus with algae. And we talk about mycorrhiza, myco it's for what you call fungus and rhiza for the plant roots. So fungus are also seen to be associated with plant roots and both of the time they are associated either with algae or with higher plants they are doing something for them and they are doing something for the fungus so this is how the fungus is sitting into the symbiotic relationship so fungus shows all the modes of heterotrophic nutrition in next session i'll be detailing you about reproduction in fungus